Hi everyone, it's Lynn Como with Close to My Heart and I'm very excited to share with you today my um, Kid of the Month for Eat, Play, Love. This will also be a wonderful kit to do online with me in May for National Scrapbooking Month, the weekend of May 15th and 16th. So mark that date on your calendar and all the details will be listed on my blog at lincomo.com. So let me talk to you a little bit about Eat, Play, Love. Now, don't just think about this as being a kit for cooking. There's so much more, and I have a nice little file to share with you of what other things you can do. But I was going through my photos and noticed that I have a lot of photos, ones or two photos of my husband and I out to dinner. Maybe we were out for pizza and we really enjoyed the meal the pizza that we had there or a meal that we had in another restaurant or it was a special occasion. Now I can see any of those photos on here and I can print things out in black and white, whether it's an anniversary, a Christmas, springtime, summer, and they'll all work together on this layout. So think beyond what you think Eat, Pray, Love could possibly be. Here's a couple other thoughts for you too. Maybe you have a favorite restaurant or a dish, or a drink, or food. This is one of those things that you can actually have a photo of you and your significant other, of the dish, or the prepared meal, but also write your story about your favorite place to have dinner. Maybe it was a favorite restaurant you went to when you were growing up, or that favorite pizza place, or your favorite seafood place, things like that. Think beyond just the current of cooking and food right now. Also, a lot of us take advantage of food trucks, takeout meals, right? What's your favorite place? You can always tell a story about it. Family meals and celebrations are some other great ideas where you might be able to write down, share a recipe if you want, or to have a photo of your mom with her specialty or grandma's best dish. The guys out there love to use a smoker and barbecues can be having a um, with, be filled with all the fixins, you know? So just think outside the box on what you can do with all of these pages. There's even more, but I'm just going to share some of these with you, uh, the layouts. So this is from the workshop kit by Close to My Heart, Eat, Play, Love. And one of the things that I'm doing differently is I am actually using this beautiful 6x12 flip flap and doing it on vellum paper. So you see, you'll have two full complete pages and then this will flip down so that you can use it on another, um, on top of your page protector. So the vellum, it comes in 12 by 12, so you would get three sheets. And we also use the vellum with this really pretty lace doily thin cut. So I want to give you a little bit of a closer look of how I used it right here. Can you see that? There's a piece right there. And then I have another one right here. But look at these beautiful punch outs. These are punched out. That's part of the kit. There's no Cricut cuts on any of these pages. But isn't this gorgeous? Don't the colors just pop? The other thing that I also love doing is I took our wooden embellishments, the hearts, and I used our red shimmer brush to color it in. And it really made it pop a little bit more. But this is also a punch out. And all you're doing is putting it together and then I'm going to have it flipped down. So this will be underneath so you can have even more photos on this two page spread. So those are pages one and two. Now I can see some really beautiful pages, uh, photos on here. This one says family. So this could be a dinner out, but this can also be a family celebration and it doesn't have to have anything at all to do with food. But look how pretty the glacier blue, the polka dot paper, these beautiful flowers, and some of them are punched out and just popped up a little bit. I used a piece of the vellum to add a little bit of color with the lemonade plaid paper, and I just love it. And here you could see that pretty heart is um, shimmer brushed again. Flip flaps would be great on that. Here's another 
fun layout that I really love for all of my foodie people. Now, foodie people could just be having fun with cooking or not, but maybe you like to can preserves or you do pickling in the summertime. Maybe you make lemonade. You have your friends over for a tea, a little tea party, um, a garden snack. But this would be great to just create with any of your photos that you have that work so well with let's eat, right? Look how nice, gather together. And look how pretty. I use the um, card making stamp set. Let me show you what that one looks like with the jar and I use the thin cut and then you can stamp these inside the jar if you like. So if you are into canning or preserves, these would also make great cards and tags for that if you give them away. But here you can see, I also took the date lace, um, doily lace thin cut and use our red mix-in paper to get that pretty color and look on there, almost like a doily, right? So cool. And I use the yellow lemonade shimmer brush here. And I also would use a four by six flip flap for this. So you can have even more photos and a four by four flip flap. So you could have even more photos, but you can see all the two by twos that are cut out of the paper, super easy to do. And then we do have these beautiful wood embellishments inside the kit. Let me give you an idea of what they look like. So you can see you have a salt and pepper shaker, something like a crock pot, your mixer, your tea, a bowl. I love the rolling pin, a paddle. Then there's some hearts in here, as well as some cute little flowers, some really great um pieces to use with a little whisk. So we're definitely using them on these pages. So I hope you like that. And then seven and eight also have a flip flap and I wanted to show you this beautiful layout. This is the one that I think of grandma and memories, but it could be anything at all for sure. Love the sticker that's memories. And here you can see I used the vellum again for that lace, lacy look. And just look at this big mixer. This is on an eight by 12 piece of paper, which will go inside the eight by 12 flip flap. So this is the front of what it would look like. And then this is the right side, which would also have some great places for photos as well as flip flaps if you want. But here you can see I added two more of those lace doilies. And here's that pretty jar stamped with a pinch of salt and a dash of sass. And here you can see the wood embellishments that I also used. So this is the right side of the page and this would open up in the flip flap so you'd have even more opportunities to even share photos, recipes, do your journaling, whatever works for you. And if you're into cooking, this would be great for you to have with the whisked in love. So adorable. So this is eight plus pages just from the workshop kit. I have another set of pages, so we will be doing all 16 pages, but you know what? If you only wanna do one set of pages, you certainly have that option. Let me show you what I'm going to introduce on the second set. These are your kitchen gnomes. So if you're into kitchen gnomes or you're into gnomes, you'll love using these guys. They're so adorable. So you can see the chef, he has the whisk, the boss of the sauce for the girl, really cute, whisking you a happy day. I need you to gnome, you're super. And just a little gnome cooking, how adorable is that, right? So this is an optional purchase and you can get it with or without thin cuts. I personally love the thin cuts because it makes my life so much easier. And here's the wooden spoon, the salt and a bowl, super cute. So let's show you my designs for Eat, Play, Love using the kitchen gnomes. So here you can see, this is my two page spread and I love how I used the gnomes and I colored them in with markers. And here you can see, I also used a stamp set, an alphabet set to do the good eats. And here's the heart that I also shimmer brushed. 
Look how cool he is with a blonde beard. So fun. Whisk in love. There's one of the bowls. And I love the the different colors that I've used here. I love uh, you cherry much. But I'm also using more of the mix-ins. Now, one mix-ins paper pack will work for both kits, which is really kind of cool that I'm using one set for all 16 plus pages. Now, here's where you can see this is the pattern paper, but I made my own pattern paper using the images that are in the stamps, and I stamped it right in here on glacier paper and glacier ink just to get a little bit more color and design to the layout. Here are the next two pages, and I'm liking the idea that they're on something a little bit different. I'm using the almond paper as the base, and here you can see how I cut the um, flower, but I use the family stickers. And here's again that doily. I love that doily so much. I just think it just adds a nice little pop of interest to the layout. But the colors are the lemonade plaid and then this really cool little floral pattern, which definitely picks up the yellow. And then you have some more Picture My Life cards. I've also added them and sprinkled them in on all of the pages, so you'll get to play with those as well. And this is a Picture My Life card. So I'm just using, <clears throat> excuse me, our stickers in a way with some of that lace doily to add a little more interest to our pages. But can't you see your family on some of these photos? It could be anything you want, any time of year. And when you change all of your photos to a black and white, you really can print them out that it doesn't matter what season or what they're wearing, they'll all go together on a layout. Love this one. This is pages uh, five and six. And um, you know what? My husband's a fisherman, so he, he catches it, he cleans it, and I cook it. So we make a great team. I could see something like that on these pages, but really it could be anything you want, any kind of a gathering, um, Having a meal out, maybe you go to cooking school. Maybe you go to cooking classes. Maybe you like to make homemade jellies and jams or you do your pickling. Whatever it is, maybe you plan a holiday menu and you want to showcase the photos that you've taken of food or family at that holiday meal. It really can be anything you want. But isn't this so pretty? Very different with the lagoon cardstock as well. But here you can see the mixing bowls, right? Who doesn't use mixing bowls? I love the wooden whisk here. And the chef, adorable, colored in, right? Picture my life card, picture my life card. And using some of the mix-ins paper and the stickers. Here's again another doily that I thin cut. I just think again, it just adds a little bit of interest. And look at the, the whisker guy. Now he has a gray beard. Aren't they cute? The kitchen gnomes are super adorable to work with. But if you don't want the kitchen gnomes, that's okay. You do not have to use them. You can use anything you want. Or you can maybe add this jar for canning and journal inside it and put it on your pages. That's really your option. This is the last set of pages, Eat, Bake, Love. And I used our alphabet stamp set. And I will have a shopping list for you to look at online on my blog at lincomo.com. But just check out these last two pages and I've sponged everything in the almond ink just to give it a little depth of color so you can see. And I love that I changed it up. There's a lot of different patterns of paper on here, but they all look so pretty together with the pop of yellow, the blue with the red cherries. Then you have the kitchen squares, I call them the kitchen squares, and then the rolling pin zip strip. But here's that cute little rolling pin, a heart that it did. And look what I did to the salt shaker. I used a little bit of stickles on it to give it that little pop of shakiness of a salt that would be in there. I love the gnome and how I did the bowl. So I love to teach you all the different tips and tricks of the trades and how you can do these uh, items just like I have. So here you can see how cute 
the pages are. Now this is stamped and this is stamped with this cute little square. This one right here. And it really makes a cute statement on these layouts. So this is the red mix-ins paper. And then we have this right here. So eat, bake, love, but you could say whatever you want your alphabet to say, create your own title, but it's just really fun to play with with all the items that we have for Eat, Play, Love. So this is really a beautiful kit. These are the first eight pages right here that are designed by me. And all the details will be on lincomo.com shopping list, as well as uh, links to all the product that you can see it so that you can get an idea. Plus registration for our online event for May's, uh, May's National Scrapbooking Month May 15th and 16th, we're going to do Saturday night and Sunday, but all the details will be at my on my blog at lincomo.com. So if you have any questions, please let me know. And then, of course, we have the second set of pages. But if you only want to do the kitchen gnomes, that's fine. You only want to do this set, whatever works for you. And there'll also be a recipe slash memories six by eight album as another part of a kit for us to do. I'm getting started to create that. I'll have to share that in a couple of days when it's all done or and uh, let you know exactly what that's all about. So right now, these are all the scrapbooking pages, but there is more to come. So I hope you'll join me for Eat, Play, Love, Kit of the Month and Online Crop on May 15th and 16th. Create eight pages, all 16 pages, and or a recipe memory book.